Good morning, YouTubers. T Square with T Square Talks. Hope everybody's mm -hmm. having a great day. I had a great video planned. I'm debating if I want to do it. It is so late now. I ended up going live at midnight, and it was supposed to be a quick live stream so we could give away uh, the winning prize for the um, midnight end of uh, October. Oh, let's see here, October. Uh, September, the end of September or October 1st at midnight, however you want to say it, uh, price prediction video. And I wanted to give the prize away, but I wanted to do it at midnight only because I wanted to show on my other phone, hey, the price of silver is right here at this exact minute. And the winner is, and I'll tell you right now, the winner is Rob Isbell. So you are the winner, R-O-B-I-S-B-E-L-L. So shoot me an email at T Square. Talk to me. You're the winner. And then we got talking about silver shortage. We got talking about all this other stuff on a live video. And here it is now, two and a half hours later. And I got to get up super early because I got someone coming over to my house first thing in the morning to do some work on something. And essentially, I'm exhausted. But I was debating if I was still going to do the video. I'm still going to do a video, I guess. I'm here. I got to push through it. So, um, the, the show must go on. Is that what they say? So I'll do a quick brief announcement. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Let me know you enjoy what we talked about. Or if you have a topic you'd like to talk about, let me know. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please take a quick minute. Hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, if you would like to become a member, we are in October 1st. This is not really the official video. However, if the spots fill up because there's not a lot of spots... We're going to be giving this away. I'm going to tell you guys real quick right now in the video. We're going to be giving this away this month as soon as we get to 100 members. So 100 members and we're going to be giving this away. The way I'm going to give it away, uh, a poster board with 100 names on it in the form of squares. We're going to use bingo balls to pick out which row is which number. And we're going to do it as like an office pool. It's a free event for members. Uh, as soon as I get to 100 members, I'm going to roll it out. If you don't sign up in time, uh, you will not be eligible for this event. You will have to wait till the next event. Uh, this is our members only event. There's not many spots left. So if you want to become a member, we're only taking 100. At 100, we're going to announce uh, all the details in full. And we're going to pretty much roll out the, po the board and you'll see your names and then we will draw the numbers. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do the numbers live using bingo ball pullers so no one can say you purposely gave so-and-so 7-7 seven, seven, or 5-5 five, five, or 2-2 two, two, or 1-1 one, one, or 4-4 four, four, or whatever. 4-4 four, four, actually, that would be a really good number I think. Or even better, 4-7. That would be a really good number two to get, I think. Because uh, 14, you guys, if you have never watched, uh, you know, the football games, obviously the football games, uh, it's you come down on whatever row the last digits on the score is. So with that being said, it's going to be a lot of fun. And someone is going to win that coin right there in front of you in red. It's $250 according to NGC, uh, especially how limited it is. 1987... San Francisco certified MS69 Silver Eagle. Very few of them out there. Okay, so talking about today's video. It's probably going to be a short one, I hope, I think, but we'll see. Um, today, I wanted to talk a little bit, not about silver and gold, but more about the strikes that are coming. The strikes that should be starting today. Uh, I know someone asked me how come I didn't talk about it. I'll be honest. I didn't find out about it until like two, three days ago. I found out about it on Hawaiian Preppers channel. And uh, I was listening to her channel, and she was talking about the strikes that are coming all the way from Maine to Texas. The entire coastline has all the port authorities or port workers going on strike. They feel they're not making enough money, and they're putting their foot down. And what kind of impact is this going to have on the economy? What kind of impact is that going to have on silver what kind of impact is that going to have on the election, on oil prices, on gold, on silver, everything? So here's the thing. I can tell you today, well, I'm sorry, yesterday, I went in the evening and I got all my little gas cans together and I wanted to fill up all my gas. I wanted to fill up my truck. I wanted to fill everything up. A lot of that stemmed from when I drove by a gas station and the price was $2.99. Now, some of you may not think $2.99 is a lot depending on where you are. However, the price was just 
$2.43. I literally went to one corner and it was $2.43 on one corner and across the street, it was $2.99. Why is that? Because they're seeing that there's going to be some problems and it's already taken its toll. Now, me personally... I, part of me says you would think that, you know, if there's like a major slowdown like that, because they're not going to be using a lot of gas, essentially. However, who knows? Because now they're talking, they're going to be pushing these ships all the way down through the Panama Canal, through South America. It's going to burn a lot more gas, a lot more diesel, a lot more oil, uh, everything. It's going to cost more. Prices are going to go up. Inflation is not because of the economy. Inflation is because of the strike. <laughs> That's what they're going to be telling you. Mark my words, you're going to hear that probably. Um, with that being said, is that good? No, it's horrible for the economy. We're going to see probably, we could see, we don't know what's going to happen, how this is going to play out, how long it's going to last. We could see shortages. We're already seeing price jumps on gas and it hasn't even officially started yet. Somebody said it doesn't actually start at midnight. It actually starts at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning uh, on the East Coast time zone. So we're going to see. What could that do for silver and gold? Obviously, it's uncertainty. I don't have any idea what it's going to do. I'm not even going to begin to make a prediction on this. But I will say it's uncertainty. And when the economy does bad, generally, silver and gold does good. Why? Because people start getting scared that when a company isn't making as much money, then the profits come down, it doesn't take long before share prices come down, and the stock market has a big pullback, which we saw yesterday when the stock market was down 400 and something points all at once almost, and it instantly shot back up. It was kind of crazy. It was almost like almost like the government just poured money in just to pump the stock market back up. Now, I doubt they would do that. I got to say that. <laughs> Um, but I believe there, I'm just kidding. I believe there's a plunge protection team. I believe there's a plunge protection team and they rolled it out yesterday and they said, pop that stuff back up. And the truth of the matter is, uh, here's the thing. I mean, if the economy slows down, then stocks have to come down. In my opinion, there's a lot of talk of if stocks come down too low, it's going to take down silver and gold. We've been talking about that for a while. People have been. Uh, I personally have my thoughts on that. We may not see that now. Did I expect a pullback at the end of last month? Yes, I did. And the reason that was was because of the huge short positions that had to pay themselves out. I haven't even gone and checked why we didn't see it yet. But I will be looking into that as the week goes on. You know, now I'm not seeing much of a pullback. I hate to say it. But here's the thing. I had someone tell me the other day. They're like, nope, you were wrong about the pullback. You're wrong. <laughs> So whatever I do, he said, I'm going to rather bet against you. Um, who knows what's going to happen? I'm not even going to begin to say because I can see pros and cons, how this is going to play out to silver, how it's going to drive prices up, and I can see how it could drive prices down. So who knows? I'm not going to make a prediction on that. However, I can tell you in the long run, silver is going higher. Now, is it going to shoot to the moon like some people say? Yeah, we say I might use the word moon. But you know what? I'm going to be happy. I'm happy now at 30% so far this year. If we go up another 20% for the years out, that's 50% for the year. I'm happy with that. Do I think that's possible? 100%. I think we could see that. Do I think we could see $35 silver by the end of the year? $40 silver by the end of the year? Well, my prediction is we will see $35 silver by the end of the year. That's a given. And who knows? I think it could even go a lot higher than that. That was my safe prediction, I think, at the beginning of the year. Um, a lot's going to depend on how this plays out. The timing on this, in my opinion, is extremely bad for the current politicians that are there right now. They didn't put this as their number one priority. They couldn't figure some kind of deal out. And now we're going to pay for this. We're going to pay in the form of shortages. We're going to pay in the form of higher prices. We're going to pay in the form of just not being able to get what we want. And this could get ugly. This is why we've been saying prep, 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 prep. Be prepared. You know, there's already countries that are banning the exports of certain food items. Like rice. That's been a hot item this year. Um, there's issues coming. <clears throat> Do I think gold and silver is the only thing? Excuse me. Do I think gold and silver is the only thing? 
No. Uh, I think gold and silver is important that you're stacking it because as prices go up, gold and silver should go up. I think food plays a heavy indicator. Have some extra food on hand. Have some extra water on hand. Have stuff you need. If you take some sort of medicine, maybe get a little extra if you can. I mean, I've heard stories if your dog ate it or chewed it up, they might write you another script depending on what it is. If it's something small like blood pressure medicine or something crazy like that, insurance may not pay it. So hopefully it's cheap medicine. I'll be honest. I take uh, blood pressure medicine. And with that being said, you know, I'm prepared if something bad happens. Um, you never know what could happen. We saw a lot happen during the cough cough where we couldn't get the stuff that we needed. Am I going to go out and buy a truckload of toilet paper? Probably not. Will toilet paper become a short item? It could. It could if people go to that at first. I wouldn't want toilet paper first and foremost. I would rather have food first and foremost. I mean, you know, I mean, you could figure something out. I mean, they did in the old days. We didn't always have toilet paper. Um, with that being said, I expect we could have some problems coming down the line. I think we could see some more inflation. I think oil and gas could take another big jump, which is kind of crazy that we would see it come at this time. But you got to remember, our strategic stockpile reserve is not like it was. And this could get ugly. And in return, it could cause gold and silver to spike. Now, do I hope it does? Obviously not at the cost of somebody not getting food or something like that. But I've been waiting for silver and gold to go up for a while. I would like to see it go up. But part of me says I'd like to see it come down because I can prep a little bit more. I can stack a little bit more. Uh, it gives me options. If the price goes up too high, I might have to slow down on purchasing. Um, you know, so who knows? It's going to be a short video today. Like I said, it's super late. Uh, that's going to probably wrap up the video. Um, I will do some exciting videos, but like I said, in just a few hours, someone's going to be knocking at my door, uh, getting some help on something. Well, I shouldn't say a few. It's like four and a half, five hours. But so, uh, but I wanted to get this up. If you guys want to watch a really good video, go watch my live stream last night. I showed you guys some really cool stuff. I gave away a special announcement on that video. Uh, about what the uh, October, more details about the October giveaway for members only. Um, and I also s might have slipped and said that there's another giveaway coming for member, uh, uh, for non mem well, I shouldn't say non-members, for anybody. Everybody is equally eligible on that one. It'll be fun, a fun little giveaway. Congratulations to the winner uh, of this little one tenth ounce. It's not a big prize. It was just, uh, hey, plug in a comment. If your silver prediction is the closest, you're the winner. Uh, literally like 13 cents off, I think, something like that. Uh, that was pretty crazy. You came that close to it. Congratulations. Um, let me see the name on that again. Rob Isbell, R-O-B-I-S-B-E-L-L. -L. Shoot me an email. You are the winner. Um, and I know you'll see it because I'll end up letting you know if I see you in the room. So, um, with that being said, that is it for today's video. I thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, it's not a long one. We're going to talk more about the whole shutdown once it officially starts. Uh, I expect it could play a big factor. I'm curious to see what silver and gold is going to do. This is a crazy month we got in front of us. A lot of people don't know how crazy it is. We got another Fed meeting in less than a month. Well, right about a month. Um... We also have, what was the other big thing? Oh, the BRICS meeting this month. That's going to be even more things to think about. Uh, what is the big announcement? Every year they've done a big announcement. Last year it was the fact that they added six new countries to the BRICS, uh, all of them leaders in the OPAC countries. What's going to be their big announcement this month? A lot of people wondering about that. We'll talk about that a little bit more in the near future too as it gets a little closer. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys again on T-Square Talk. Don't forget, check out that live video. I think you guys will enjoy it. Y'all have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.